Greetings from snowy Quebec. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> so we're actually uh, sitting in the car and this is the white stuff all around us. It's too cold to stand outside and take this video. So mm. we thought we'd come and sit here and let you know why it is that we chose to take on a three and a half month house sit <laughs> in the middle of winter in a Canadian winter. Uh, so we're when actually... everybody else runs away. We're actually heading... At the time of this recording, we're heading into the spring side of things. So we've mm. come out the other side. Um, but... We did it. We chose it. We purposely wanted to come here. <laughs> we did. It might seem really crazy. I think all the Canadians thought we were a bit mad. But um, <laughs> I guess coming from Australia and a lot of other places will be the same. We don't have experience of this. Uh, you know, we don't get snow like this. Uh, you know, we don't get very much snow at all, really. So it's um, it's such a novelty for us to actually spend time in the snow. And I think more than anything, I actually wanted to experience what it felt like to have like minus 25, minus 30, minus 40. That might sound really mad, but I've never experienced that before. So it's like, oh, I wonder what that feels like. I wonder how does my body react to yeah. that? How do I react to that? Um, how does the world work here? Like how does how does the community get on with things sort of thing? Like do they all shut down and for the winter? Or It's been really amazing actually. Yeah, I know. It's been a complete, um, what we call a qualia experience, which is you never really know something until you dive in and have the experience of it. And we've loved it. We absolutely mm. have loved it. So um, if you've noticed that we kind of look like the Bobsy twins at the moment, <laughs> Um, this is one of our house sitting tips is we don't carry heaps and heaps of heavy gear with us. Uh, we actually had spent, oh, it was a good sort of seven or eight months all in the tropical areas of the Caribbean and mm. Central America. Um, so we really only had t-shirts and shorts and things. Uh, we'd gotten rid of all of our snow gear from Breckenridge last year. Yeah. So we get up here and we go and head over to one of the op shops, one of the thrift stores, and they had like... Two for two for five two bucks. Two for five or something. <laughs> it was like, oh, we'll, get the, we'll get the little cardy things. <laughs> but they're fleeces and they're lovely. Um, but the homeowners have been fantastic here. Uh, you know, we've got all sorts of things included. Like we've got a guy that comes and snow blows the driveway. Um, that wall of snow out beside us is kind of the the, the what happens from this is how much snow we have here. Uh, they've got extra um, boots and jackets and hats and gloves and scarves and all these things that we've been able to borrow. They had all the um, firewood wood for us. Oh, the firewood all parts. That that's was been awesome. amazing. So that was really We've had amazing. a car. This is just a Mazda 3. Um, she calls it the, the rust bucket because unfortunately it was it was doing lots of drives to Montreal all the time and all the salt that they put on the road um, has actually caused the car to rust really bad. It was like, wow, you know, I grew up on the beaches and I understand rust on cars from salt air, but not from salt being put on the ground so people don't skid mm. and slip everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think just those little things have been absolutely amazing experience to so, say, wow, I've actually now enjoyed a Canadian winter. I almost feel like a Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do too. A Canadian. The two things that I've picked up from Canada is A, naturally, um, but also eating loads of donuts and maple syrup. And <laughs> We've that. definitely latched onto the maple syrup. <laughs> no maple syrup in there. It's amazing what you can cook with with maple syrup. <laughs> and, um, everybody who knows me knows that I'm like, you know, Mrs. Potato Head and you'd think that I would be all over the poutine, but I just can't do the cheese curds. Sorry, sorry, Canada. I just can't do your cheese curds at all. <laughs> But the things that we've loved about here as well with this house sit is that they've provided us with cross-country skis. Now, I've done downhill skiing before. I've never done cross-country, so I look like an absolute She had to go on the driveway, which is completely flat, and she looked like an idiot. <laughs> but at least Nat, Nat's been enjoying that. I'm That's sticking fun. with the snowshoeing, um, you know, and we're only about... 45 minutes drive to an actual downhill ski resort which is kind of unusual on the eastern side of Canada because mm. all the all the Rockies are towards the west where all the big you know famous ski resorts are but um, you can still ski here um, there's lots of sunshine in Quebec that's what yeah, we've beautiful. loved as well like all through the winter yeah today is a classic example it's just a beautiful day it's crisp outside definitely it's about sort of just sub-zero but um, yeah, we're getting a little bit warmer now and getting the melt, but the days are just beautiful. Like, yeah. really, really pleasant. It's amazing how quickly you acclimatize to really cold weather, too. It's been really good. So I guess the um, the most frequently asked questions about, you know, coming in house sitting in a place like this is, isn't it cold? It's like, well, no, we have actually not felt cold at all the whole time we've been here. Yeah. Um, being the age that we're at, we're kind of in that perimenopausal stage. We're actually enjoying <laughs> going outside in, you know, minus 20 and having a little blast 
blast of a uh, cooling cool down. down. <laughs> because we have got a wood stove that we put on, and, and downstairs in the bottom of the house, it can get up to like 26 degrees. So we're like stripping off, going, it's oh, this is really hot. hot at times. But the, the things that we've, you know, definitely loved, we arrived here at, um, just before Christmas. So just after Christmas, there was a heap of sales, and that got a onesie. We've had, <laughs> we've got some really cool, like, a jelly bean onesie, fluffy pajamas, <laughs> and the fleeces, and all that. Um, and everything's just set up to be warm. Like, you just don't feel cold. Mm. Uh, obviously, things would be different if we didn't, if we weren't able to park the car in the garage. We'd have to probably play around with that, you know, horrible stuff like keeping the the car charged. And it's quite fascinating, like how how this all works, like how a city operates when it's like it is minus twenty five, minus thirty. Um, yeah, it's it's really quite incredible. <laughs> my other my other really cool experience that I had because we've actually did uh, t- just over two weeks house sitting in Montreal City for Christmas New Year, and now we've been out in this uh, rural property. We're actually on a lake here, like the property backs onto frozen a lake, lake, and it's frozen. We'll take some footage and there yeah. were there was guys um, skidooing on it yesterday, which was pretty cool. Yeah. But in Montreal, I went to go to the Apple Store on my own this one day, and um, it had started snowing, but it was really kind of a, a beautiful fluffy not even that cold and I'm walking down uh, St. Catherine which is like the main street heading to the Apple store and I was like this kid in a candy store I had the biggest smile I was just like oh these fluffy snows hitting my face and it was awesome I loved it I was just so happy to us you can't be in the snow and not be happy and just feel joy because uh I guess when you leave here, I can understand it now, um, having experienced it. If you did this year after year, um, this would really be tough um, conditions. Yeah. And it lasts for a long time, you know. They have winter for five, six months. So um, that would start to drive me a bit crazy <laughs> uh, if I had to snow blow all the time to go yeah. to work and that. But we've got the benefit that we work um, in, at the house uh, on the internet and stuff. So we don't have to go out unless we feel like going out. No, so we just check the weather. If it says it's there's freezing good. rain coming, we're not going to do the grocery shopping that day. You know, yeah. we'll just sort of plan that we'll do the grocery shopping you know on the other days yeah. um, so but we sort of pick and choose like yeah. what weather we go out in and I guess that's been one big advantage I suppose so um, but also we've been going to the library a fair bit as well because the internet we're on satellite internet here because we're very rural um, we don't have many houses around here so we are away from the main city uh, so you know the internet can come and go depending on the weather so we do go to the uh the library a fair bit and actually been doing our uploads and downloads and getting tons of work done like it's actually been fantastic for getting work done here yeah the um other question that i know somebody has asked us as well is you know is there any wildlife around because we are in the woods and we don't have anything on this side of the country like the bears or moose or anything here but we wake up every morning to squirrels out of our um, window and we've had a couple of raccoons because we feed birds and all the the seeds drop down to just in front of our window so every morning we got that this entertainment of little squirrels sitting there eating and now two and cats raccoon. come in and they just sit there it's like watching uh, it's like their TV. tv yeah they're just watching out the window yes, <laughs> yesterday we saw an owl like a Big snow Big, owl. Full on snow owl. It was, it was beautiful. so beautiful. Yeah, really. And there's really pretty. woodpeckers. We're feeding those as well. So we've learnt a lot about. I suppose uh, now it's warming up. We'll get more uh, wildlife coming around yeah. a bit more. Um, yeah. But, uh, but we yeah, highly recommend, I mean, for anybody, particularly if you've never grown up in this sort of environment, um, you know, when it comes to house sitting and house sitting opportunities, for us, it's about experience. It's about life experiences that you wouldn't normally get to have. Yeah. Uh, so what an opportunity. If you come from down under, absolutely do it. The snowbirds go away every year. There's plenty of house sits up here. <laughs> there are plenty of house sits every winter and I think it's just well worth doing it. Everybody should do this. We've had a ball. We're probably not going to come back every year but I dare say we'd come back every couple of years I'd definitely sure. come back to this and yeah. have, the, have the experience again. It's been really fun. Yeah. Yep. So that's our advice. That's our experience and um, yeah. Weehoo! You go Canada! <laughs> <laughs> we love Canada. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, catch you. We'll see you somewhere in another part of the world. Actually, our next place is Mexico. So We're going to thaw out a little bit in Mexico. (laughs) We're looking forward to that one too. (laughs) Bye for now. Bye.